What's going on everyone, Juicebags here, and welcome back to some Dungeon Defenders 2. As a long-term veteran DD2 player and a YouTube content creator, one of the challenges I face is when you make just a thousand plus videos about a game over the span of many, many years, you are going to have lots and lots of outdated content. Now we have an update pending coming up within the next several months that will be completely game changing and will make every single video on my channel completely invalid, meaning I'm going to go back through and do every hero spotlight, every defense spotlight, and various different builds, tutorials, etc. once again under the new system. However, the most watched video from Dungeon Defenders 2 on my channel, and one that really needs to be updated right now, is without a doubt the top five things every new player should know about Dungeon Defenders 2. Now starting off, when you go through the tutorial, which is the first three maps of the campaign, you are going to unlock the Squire, the Apprentice, and the Huntress. Now when you finish those three maps, you are going to have some Defender Medals and you're going to have the ability to go ahead and purchase the Monk. The monk is going to be available from your create hero screen. You'll want to first unlock it and then create yourself a monk and get yourself a four hero deck. These are the original four heroes that essentially come with the game for free and shy of buying some sort of package that includes one of the other heroes. These are the four heroes you will start off with. Now with that in mind, you're going to always want to keep a full hero deck meaning that you always have four heroes in your deck for play at all times. The reason being is the campaign in Dungeon Defenders 2 is designed for you to get four heroes up to level 50 by the end of it. How experience works is experience is not split, although it is shared in the aspect of if a map rewards 10,000 experience, each hero is not going to get 2,500 each each hero will get the full 10,000. So if you go into a map with only one hero in your deck, you're gonna earn 10,000 experience. If you do that same exact map with four heroes in your deck, you're getting 10,000 for each and essentially 40,000 overall experience between your four heroes. Now, as you progress through the campaign, you will find lots of shard packs. Shards are a very important aspect of the game and there are shards that you can earn very early on in campaign that are going to be effective shards to use throughout the course of the game. Although you can upgrade your gear and it's pretty hard not to, you're usually best off by saving those gold or defender medals and if you want to upgrade anything, upgrade your shards as your shards will last throughout the life of your play in Dungeon Defenders 2. Now moving right along to pets. Pets are awesome. Pets are shiny. Pets are cool. Everybody wants pets. Uh, once again, shy of purchasing a package that comes with a pet, you will not originally have a pet when you start DD2. You will get your very first pet egg on the Betsy map or the Wyvern Den in the campaign. Now this is the halfway point in the campaign and it is the first boss you will fight and it will reward you with a pet egg. Now from here on down the line, you are gonna earn many, many, many pet eggs and you get to the point where you're actually completely overrun with them and you're just selling them. However, when you don't have a pet, those pet eggs are a hot item that you will be anxious to pick up. Now taking a look at the progression in DD2, you start off with the campaign. Once you finish up the campaign, you can go to Onslaught or Trials. These two game modes work in conjunction with each other. You can go back and forth between the two. Uh, you can choose just Onslaught, you can choose just Trials, and it is completely up to you how you play the game to get to the end of it. Now the best possible gear you can get in the game is gonna be available in Chaos 7 Trials, so you'll have to work your way all the way up to Chaos 7 or at Onslaught Floor 57+. Plus. Now you do have a chance of getting a super loot item on Floor 55+, plus that could be comparable 
to something you would get at end game Chaos 7. However, the good stuff is usually going to start dropping around floor 57. And remember, it is RNG dependent. You'll get some good stuff. You'll get some bad stuff. It's not always going to be an upgrade. RNG can be your best friend and your worst enemy while progressing. So make sure you just take a look at all the gear and exactly how it works for you. Now we look at this big number up at the top. This is our champion score and the champion to score determines our progression as each chaos trial will require a different champion score to unlock the next tier. In addition to that, once you complete that next tier of a chaos trial, like completing say your first chaos two map, that in turn is going to unlock a floor in onslaught. That is how you're able to move back and forth between onslaught and trials and choose your own progression path. Now, once you finish up, or once you get a full set of Chaos 7 gear in Onslaught or Trials, then you can move over and try out the Incursions. Incursions are special versions of the different Chaos levels that have a particular puzzle or special mob involved that's required to complete the map. In addition to that, Incursions will drop a special weapon and it will allow the ability to purchase these weapons at higher quality later in game from the Dwarf Wayfarer in town. Last but not least is Mastery Mode. Mastery Mode is without a doubt the toughest game mode there is in DD2 and it is going to require that you have a good understanding of all your heroes and all your defenses. Ideally, you have multiple new heroes unlocked and aren't trying it with the original four, and you have a full selection of all of the shards that are available from Campaign all the way to Chaos 7. So although you might want to hop in and try Mastery right away, it is going to be much less painful for you if you wait on Mastery until you have completely finished all of the Chaos 7 content and pushed as far as you want to in Onslaught. Now on that same note, each individual trial tier does unlock or introduce a new special enemy. All throughout Dungeon Defenders 2 there are hard counters in the game, meaning Defense A does not work well against Enemy A. All of these encountered threats are highlighted right here on the game browser by just selecting Chaos Info and reading the info available. For example, if we look at Chaos 2, it's going to introduce cyborgs, which are orc units who utilize rare elements in their weapons and armor that serve to disable a variety of traps, auras, and nodes. Now what this means is, if you go into Chaos 2 and you build the map out with traps, auras, and nodes, you have a, you're going to have a much harder time as there is a special enemy here that will disable those defenses. The smartest thing to do here would be to go into Chaos 2 and not use traps, auras, and nodes, and that will allow you to negate the hard counter in that particular Chaos trial. Now, these different enemies are not just in that one individual trial, they can appear in later places, for example, these cyborgs will also make another appearance in Chaos 5. However, they are first introduced in the various Chaos tiers that are listed here. Now, if you are unsure which of your defenses are a trap, aura, or node, you can simply inspect it. So if you go up to the defense and inspect it, we see that this is a tier 1 aura. The cannon would be a tier 1 tower. So it will show you right on the tooltips of the weapons what type of defense it is and whether or not it's a defense that's going to be best used against the hard counters in those various chaos tiers. So hopefully this helps everyone understand some of the game's basics and if you do have any more questions or comments, please let me know down below and I'll do my best to answer all of the questions I can. So thank you very much for watching. Click that like button and please subscribe to the channel. And I will be back soon with lots and lots more Dungeon Defenders 2. Thanks again. 
I'll see you next time.